In this demonstration, you'll see how we can use a web content management portlet in order to maintain a folder structure that has assets or files stored within folders. We're also using a part of the Dojo toolkit in order to <coughs> render the folder structure. So with this uh, web content viewer portlet, We've got a folder structure that can um, be expanded and collapsed, as well as expanded the list underneath uh, each one of the folders for the contents uh, within the folder structure. You can also click on one of the pieces of content, and you'll be able to either download or edit this particular file. In this example, is a PDF. Any sort of file can be stored within this structure. So let's walk through some of the features that we've added to this sample. First of all, you can uh, go in and you can easily add a new folder, rename the folder, or add an asset to a folder. Let's create a new folder. We will call the folder um, my demo folder. And put a description in and save and close this folder definition. Notice this is a web content management authoring template that lets you key in that folder and folder name. If we expand the new folder that expand the um, original folder, we'll see that um, the My New Demo folder is now contained within it. If I want to then add a new asset underneath that folder, I can then add a, uh, create the display title for that asset. include a document as well as a summary and a uh, rich text body information if I uh, want to include some more description. Then I will save and close this and it will, will be immediately published. It could be put through a workflow if that uh, is your choice for this content. If I expand my um, tree here, I will see that I now have um, my new demo asset is contained underneath the My Demo folder. And if I uh, select that new demo asset, I can also go in, edit that, and again, this is a uh, the same authoring template that was used to create this particular asset. Optionally, I can go in and then, of course, download that asset as well. The right folder. So download is also in there as well, and it would give me a choice to either open it or save it to disk. This concludes the demo.